Studios in sunny San Diego, California. Big Miss Show's on the air. I'm just doing everybody's job. Don't mind me. Brought to you by Anison. At least you'll make Anison. It's aspirin mixed with desperation and a little catnip. <laughs> Greg, talk off our producer's hot dog right now. If you see a shot glass over there, it's uh, NyQuil. Of course. Uh, you know, nothing like, um, you know. Daytime cold. Honey, I haven't drank for a week. <laughs> Sip on, <laughs> sipping on that Listerine and NyQuil. <laughs> there you go. Hey, uh, great to have you along today. Uh, a couple of things. Have you guys heard the story about Tay-Tay? Ban, do you know who Tay-Tay is? Come on. I'm seeing her tomorrow. All right, by the way, did you go to, um, did you go to, um, the limited and get an outfit for yourself before you uh, <laughs> go to see the Barbie movie. <laughs> what would implore you to go to the Barbie movie and go to Taylor Swift? I know. Having a niece in town? Okay, fine. Sorry. Uh -huh. Thanks. Thanks. One, I think he uh, went to chess. No, he, he just killed. Because my uh, niece who's dying of a, uh, she lost an arm yesterday. Is, it's, <laughs> thanks, Jared. What I was getting to is she has her own economy. Like she is larger than the GDP yes. of Corfu, Capri. She has more cash. Yeah. Than like five governments yep. in this world. It's amazing. But think Remarkable. About, think about her audiences, though. That's a ton of people who are also. Oh, I can't say that I didn't go to the go see the Taylor Swift concert. So that's why I'm there. Mm -hmm. Whereas a sports fan is like, I went to see the game because I yeah. want to see the game. Jared, how, so you're going tomorrow night? Uh, yeah, we're going Friday. She's doing six dates in L.A. Though. And by, the way, by the way, if you want to try to buy a ticket for any one of those six dates, it's five thousand dollars. Is it really? Yeah, five grand. Yeah. Uh, which tells me. They could do another 14 dates if mm -hmm. they could just get the dudes at the Gap store in to the Taylor Swift concert. I put it on the company card. I'm sure you did. Thank you. <laughs> but we, had a, we had an email or something to Greg Todoroff, our executive producer, uh, about a company called uh, Archimoto, or as Greg likes to say, Archimoto. Um, they're publicly traded on the stock symbol FUV. And joining us now is Chris Dawson, the CEO. Chris, how are you, sir? Sorry to make you wait there, pal. Oh, I'm well. I'm, I'm working on booking the, the Tay Tay concert. <laughs> By the way, I didn't realize I had such a following. Dude, I, let, me tell, let me tell you right now. I know you worked the last Belly Up concert I was at. I think you were at the door. <laughs> was the second look familiar? I think he does. Or you're at the back door. Hey, great to I'm see you, man. I'm trying to retire early. Don't hate on the game. Well, um, Costa has a retirement plan. Um, when he gets uh, another five years, he's going to kill somebody. Gets um, yeah. He gets three hots and a cot. Three cot. Hots and, a cot. and Greg asks, who's he going to kill? He goes, uh, he goes, what about your wife? He goes, who do you think I'm going to kill? It's <laughs> um, a long way to get to wow, that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, talk to us about this company because I'm looking uh, at your website here and it looks like you guys are right at the right place at the right time uh, with respect to um, these functional vehicles. Talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. I think we were really at that intersection of where there's going to be a mass adoption for micro mobility as energy prices and costs continue to go up and up and up and fuel be becomes more and more expensive. Uh, as a result, as well as just electrics and the acquisition cost and the operation there. So that vehicle, the FUV or MUV and rapid responder deliverator, all built on that same platform. And they're all about three times as efficient as your modern Tesla is. So, you know, it's the same amount of get around with a third of that. And so not just fuel prices will continue to increase, but also our electric bills are continuing to increase. So this will really intersect that. I mean, I really wanted to distill it down to the, the most basic analogy. Like, do you need a 6,000 pound SUV to go get your latte? Or do I, I need a big diesel box truck to deliver wow. me my toothbrush? Asked and right? answered. Right. Wow. You know, you know what? I'm going to steal that. Hey, you know what I need to get me? I need to get me some get around. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll um, talk to so so what is the um, what's the functionality is this a get around everyday thing uh, is it is it a freeway car is it a golf cart is it a, a commercial uh, utility vehicle I mean wh what what was it designed for originally uh, so the answer is yes it's all of those things so we really designed this really looking at 90 percent of drives so 90 percent of drives one or two people minimal cargo average trip length of three miles and total <laughs> daily travel about 35. So this is to facilitate everything that you need, nothing that you don't, to knock that out. And here in Eugene, when I'm driving around, rain, sleet, whatever, I'm in this thing, running around, getting everything done, hitting the gym, going to the grocery store, running the Posing DMV. Posing for that ro romance novel? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, saw the, Again. I, I saw the box. <laughs> he's a handsome man. I'm just saying, I can't stop looking at him. I think um, he's wrestled an alligator before. He I has. I swear to God. Like today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Who hasn't? Did you? Know? Right, right. right. <laughs> By the way, I live in Eugene, yeah. but not in a house. I'm in the woods. Um, did you see the box truck, which, uh, which Mike was envisioning a Domino's uh, sticker on the side? Yes, um, I was. But, but honestly, though, if you think about this, this is where we're going. Like, how? Like, is there a Without reason? Without a doubt. Should I go to the Should I go to the uh, the dealer and buy the Humvee this afternoon? 
probably not. We're going to this direction now. Well, not to mention they look like they're fun to drive. Yes. Yeah. What right? Like, yeah. Chris, does this does this drive like a like a a, a snowmobile or what's a motorcycle? What does it feel like? And does it come yeah, with a cooler I, in the back? Yeah, so I'd say the ride is very similar to a four, between a four-wheeler and a motorcycle, right? You have all the stability that you get in the four-wheeler, but you get closer performance to what you get on, on two wheels. And so you still have that motorcycle control structure, but you also still have a, a foot brake. So it's very comfortable, very intuitive for anyone to just jump in and go. I can give someone a 30-second run through on the controls, and they're off into the races. It'll hit 80 miles an hour on the highway. Wait, wow. wait, wait, wait. Wow. It goes 80? Yep. Wow, what could go wrong? Brad, and, it's quick, it, and it's quick enough to outrun all those all the ICEs is when you need to get ahead to get over, take a right or a left. Did you just say outrun ice? I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so it's brilliant for, for so, so what is the addressable market here? Because um, you're in the right place, right time for EVs, number one. Number two, we are, uh, with, the, uh, with COVID, didn't we take away 30% of the parking spaces? because of the restaurants, right? Yes. I mean, you're in the right Street place. Right? Mm -hmm. So so what's the price point and, and, and are we on the market and how do people uh, get involved? Yeah, so we are on the market. The the stripped down base price is at 19.9, uh, all the way up to 25 plus, depending on the on the options that you select for it. And to your point around parking and everything else, if you're living in a, in a thick urban area, this is a really ideal vehicle. We drive around here, we even stick two into one parking spot. Wow. Uh, and so you can put these next to each other in a lane if you really wanted to. So we're taking up far less space. It's a lot easier to find parking. Most places are completely agreeable to let you park this where they park motorcycles or out front. Uh, so you can really get these in here. And it, it, it's not just the energy usage, but also the space that we're taking up, the amount of material that goes into the vehicle. So if you really want to be intellectually honest around what a sustainable vehicle looks like, this is what that is. Chris, is, is maintenance and upkeep pretty minimal? Yeah. So just like in, in any electric vehicle, there's far less moving parts than there is in a typical ICE. We're even more simple, again, because we've built this to all the things that you need for that get around, but none of the things that you don't. So it means maintenance is considerably less and easier. You end up getting into more part swapping yeah. than anything. Uh, and so you have, less, you have less parts to break. The parts that do break uh, are just swapped out with local maintenance. So we have maintenance partners in our, in our bigger areas that also help us support. We have our own maintenance team, but then we forward deploy uh, maintenance assets as needed. Hey, Chris, are there dealerships? Uh, or, or do you go order through the website? How, how, how do we, uh, we want to buy six, so let's get that going. How, yeah, so how, how do people get involved? Yeah, so we're direct to consumer. You can buy them right on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are breaking, we do have a, a dealer down in San Diego that we're polishing up and getting that to roll out and we'll likely land a dealer in Florida. Those are our two biggest areas and really getting out to where the people are that are buying this product. That's so awesome yeah. because we want you in studio because Mike Koss has a dealer in San Diego and in Florida. So, <laughs> 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 but we'd we like to have you come to San Diego. Maybe we send a camera crew down there to the dealership. Let's go, and, super uh, fun. And you know, maybe you do a couple of DoorDash deliveries, Mike. A little sure, thing absolutely. Hey, listen, Chris, it's a pleasure. We want to have you back, fantastic. Archie Moto, stock symbol <laughs> FUV. <laughs> Did you see the pipes on that guy? I did, man. I can't stop looking at him. Look, like he's beautiful. That's a beautiful man. <laughs> man. He was, talk, he was talking about part swapping and something swapping. <laughs> I didn't hear what I said, so I heard the word swapping. God. I don't care what he's pitching. I want him back on the air. No. Big Fish Show continues. Stand by. See you in a minute.